several weeks um, are likely to be some of the most challenging of the pandemic yet. President of the New Hampshire Hospital Association, Steve Onan, says that's hard to imagine, but unfortunately true. Here in New Hampshire and all across the nation, cases are surging. On August 30th, only six people were being treated for COVID-19 in hospitals statewide. Fast forward to the fall, that number began rising into the 30s and 40s in the weeks after Thanksgiving and into December, surging to a record 305 hospitalists on December 23rd. Certainly very concerned about the increase in hospitalizations that we're seeing. It's driven by a, an increase in community transmission, which is why we absolutely all have to continue to follow those uh, public health guidelines. Hospitals are in constant contact, meeting every day with each other and then twice a week with state officials to discuss challenges, staffing and capacity. So if a, a hospital um, in the southern part of the state is at or near capacity, um, whether it's ICU beds or, or other beds that, you know, their colleagues are able to say, hey, I can help out and take patients uh, from you today to, to help make sure that those patients are, are getting the care that they need. While vaccines are certainly providing hope, Anand says there's still a lot ahead of us as healthcare workers continue their frontline fight. They feel a great sense of, of purpose and responsibility, um, but, you know, we've got to do our part to help get us through this. Anand says the good news is over these past 10 months, healthcare providers have learned new and more successful treatments for patients. In Manchester, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9.